<clears throat> My name is Jan and welcome. I uh, just want to make sure that you have a chair that doesn't have wheels and uh, it's not going to be rolling around because we want to make sure it's a firm chair and, um, and a sturdy chair would be best with no arms. Make sure the area around you is clear so you don't have anything that's in your arms way or legs way. Anything that if you stand up that's under your feet um, that's in your way. So check your area, make sure it's safe. And that's always so with, with any, with everyday life, right? Uh, so we'll have some hand weights or some water bottle, um, you know, the 16 ounce or the eight ounce, whatever you want of those low water bottles or the one, two, three pound weight. And also uh, have water handy, take sips when you need it. And remember to take, uh, take breaks when you need it, if you feel tired. And we'll, be just, we'll do some sitting, some standing, but if you opt to sit the whole time, that's fine. If you wanna stand for just a little part, but always you have the option uh, to sit, to do the exercises, how, what suit you best for your own individual uh, challenges. And everyone's working at his or her own level. So keep that in mind. It's not a contest, have fun. And we'll do lots of stretching and strength training, some cardio endurance and balancing and uh, some cool down uh, relaxation meditation and um, breathing and all that stuff. So going at your own pace and feeling comfortable. So we're gonna start in the chair. I'm gonna make sure I'm not too far away so you can hear me. So we're starting sitting and we're moving the skin so you feel your six bones underneath you. There's all this computer stuff to get into. Got it. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Okay, good morning. Let's just start by just shaking out the arm and the hand. Yeah, give it a little shake like you're shaking water off. And then kind of just shake out the, the elbows, the arm. Just like, yeah, good. And then we'll sort of on the feet, so we're sitting up nice and tall. You can have a cushion behind you, sitting forward so that your feet can touch the floor. So let's just kind of like tap the feet on the floor. And you can go slow, right? And we'll just like wobble out the way. Wobble, wobble, open, close. Yeah, great. And sitting up nice and tall, from your pubic bone up to the breastbone, we lift up and lengthen, pull the navel into the spine, and then let's roll the right shoulder back, and then the left, right, and left, right, and make maybe make it a little bit bigger. So we go the shoulder up by the ear, back and down, up by the ear, back and down. Good job, Dan. I see you over there. Up, back, and down. And now let's do both shoulders together. So you go up and back and down. It's up, it's back, it's down. Breathing in, exhaling out. Breathing in. And that was our last one. So chin into the, our feet about hip width apart, still sitting up nice and tall. Bring your chin to your chest. And then come level with the floor. So we bring it back up. Right? You can watch me first. I'm going to go chin to the chest and up. That's all just stretching that neck, chin to the chest and up. Exhale, inhale, lift. Great. Now we'll take it down towards the floor and then lift it up towards the heel. And exhale down towards the chin towards the chest or towards the chest and up. Look up and exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. And one more time, inhale up and exhale. 
And we'll take our right ear to our right shoulder. So you're just going like, you're listening. What? Relax the jaw. I will take it over to the other side. Maybe it makes you yawn. And then up and over to the other side. And again, to your left. You start to feel that little relax, little stretch. It might be tight. And then let's take it over to the right again. Take your uh, left hand and just kind of uh, massage the side of your face, your jaw. Yeah. As you're stretching, you just want to stretch that neck and other side. Yep. Just give it a little stretch. And then from there, we'll circle the head forward towards the center and over to the right. And center to the left. And center to the right. And exhale, drop your head to the right. So we just do a half circle, warming up the neck. Breathing in and breathing out. And then back to the center. So take those arms out to the side. They're just gonna stretch them out, right? And reach those fingers. Good. Yeah, stretch the fingers, the pinky, the index, I mean the uh, ring finger, the middle, the index, and the thumb. So we'll go thumb, index, middle, uh, ring, pinky, and then go back, pinky, ring, middle, so you're stretching them, index, and thumb. And then look, squeeze and open, squeeze and open, squeeze and open, really squeeze the, the first knuckles and the second, so you get the tips of the finger, Squeeze them, good job. And then bring it in. And we take the fingers now and we, we got the tips of the fingers and I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. Tap those fingers. Tap, tap, tap. Good job. And then we clap. Yeah, and then massage. So rub the hands like you're warming your hands in front of a fire. Warm them. And we'll then we'll massage those fingers. So kind of thread them through and massage it out. Thumb, go on top of those thumbs. And then the top of the hand. And the other, the other top of the other hand. And we're gonna slap it out and the chest and be Tarzan Eugene. Uh, you can make that sound, I don't hear you. Uh, getting all that energy out, stimulated. And then we go, give yourself a pat on the back. And down the arm, shoulder. Waking up those cells. And then let's do the other side. And down the arm. Give yourself a pat on the back. Yep. And then just take your hands behind your back, interlace. And then stretch the so interlace of fingers and just stretch the neck. You're just pulling up. Yep. And then chin towards the chest to stretch the neck a little more. And then release. And we'll take our arms to our sides. And come up as high as you can, bring your hands together. It's okay if you just go midway, depending on your range of motion. Inhale to come up. 
and exhale, take it down. Breathe in, look up, and exhale, palms down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, reach up, exhale. So it's not just the shoulders, it's from your base, from rooting your feet and the glutes, navel to spine, inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, clap, if you can, exhale. Three more, inhale, up, exhale, take it down. Inhale, up, and exhale. I think we have one more, but I think it's my own. There we go, great. Okay, now we're gonna reach across and punch, same side, right arm. So reach across, punch. Maybe your feet are a little bit wider, reach across and punch. Good. We're working with the chest and the middle of the back now, shoulder blades. So we're incorporating a little more upper body using the waist, abdomen, hips. Inhale. And we punch and pull. Punch it and pull. Punch and pull. Good. Four. Relax that neck. Three. Two, good job, and one. Great, and then we'll pat it out. Any place that feels tight, give it a little extra attention. Scratch. <laughs> and we're gonna punch with the left. So feet are grounded, stomach in, and we punch. And back. It's like you punch and then elbow. Elbow, like you're elbowing somebody. So you have a direction both ways. Punch, and you'll notice one arm will be weaker than the other. So just maybe you got to focus a little more on the weaker side. Exhale and inhale. Good. Punch, bring it in. We have four and elbow and three going at your own pace. If I'm faster than you feel like doing it, slow it down. Two. And one, great job. Okay, and then we'll pat it out. Feels good, right? Get a little pat out. Maybe massage a little part that feels too tight. And we're gonna take a water break. So go ahead and if you haven't already, grab your water. Especially on these on these hot days, we have we need extra fluid but you know that, right? I don't have to tell you that. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, cool spring water from the LA River. Okay. <laughs> so we're sitting back. You gotta um, reassemble yourself. You want to move the skin so you feel those sit bones underneath you keep the skin pulled and then that causes imbalance in your in your posture. So our feet a little bit wider or you know hips not so narrow, a little bit wider. And make sure you, like I said, if you need a, a, a pillow for your back for protection to give you more stability, we're gonna circle around. But now I'm not just circling my shoulders, okay, or my head. I'm circling from my hip. It's one unit, right? So from my hip, I'm gonna circle. So all around, nice and slow. I'm not, you're gonna go slower, okay? Not too fast. It's on, if it's a blender, it's on, um, it's on slow. So nice and slow because I would like you to start to feel or engage the inner thighs, the pelvis, hips, the belly, the chest, the spine, the shoulders, the neck, nice, but not just the throat, right? You're not leading with the throat. I'm taking it nice and slow and I'm circling my chest all the way around and pulling it back in. And then I'm gonna go the other way, so, right? You, you should start to feel this in your weight a little bit slower. Keep your can you keep your head upright 
and just kind of circle those ribs of the chest. All right. As long as you're feeling it and you're warming up, we're norm warming up the torso, hips, abdomen, spine. Okay. From here, we're going to tip forward and then scoop the belly back. So my chest forward and then round. And I'm going to show you a side version if you want to watch. And then you can take it from there so you get an idea. So I'm tipping forward and then I'm rounding to come back. Hip forward, round to come back. So I'm gonna start to unfuse that spine, right? Separating the vertebrae. Chest and round it. Inhale and exhale, like you're being punched in the stomach. Inhale, exhale, round the back, drop the chin towards the chest. Reach forward. Stretching through the glutes, the hamstrings, the uh, hip flexor, inner thighs, back, all that stuff. Two more times forward, round it, forward, and round it. Good job. Okay, so we're, again, we have our feet. Let's go ahead and take those feet out a little wider. Right, and I'm just gonna lift. So, well, I'm at my feet are right underneath my knees. It's not, they're not in because that's gonna hurt your back and make you arch. My feet are right under my knees, it's a right angle, right? So, I'm gonna lift my feet right foot, left foot, just lift the toes right and left and right. Oh, so if it feels like it's too wide, you can always bring your feet in and legs in a little more. So, right foot, left foot, right and left. And then let's add the hand. Okay, so we go right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. How you doing, everybody? Doing good? Right hand, left hand. Okay, now we just do the heel, right heel, left heel. Now, if you took ballet, you did this in ballet, where you just lift the heel up and up. So whichever foot you're on, it's fine. It doesn't have to be the same one I'm on. Just lift those heels, lift, stretching that ankle, keeping the dexterity in your feet. That's important for balance, agility, mobility, and strength. Okay, so now let's lift both heels up and hold and down. 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 Up and hold and we'll take it out. Arms out and in. Lift the heels and hold and in. Heels hold with that chest and in. We're also working the calves. Lift the whole the calves and in. Heels up, arms out, arms in, heels down. Up, nice and tall. And one more time. Anytime you need a break, like I said, take a break. Let's bring those legs in and re and adjust. Wipe the dirt off your feet, even though you clean the floor. It's LA, it's always dirty. Take some water if you need it anytime. Good job. So now uh, you're sitting firmly in firmly in your chair. Feet are strong, are pressing into the earth, your navel to your spine, and we're just gonna lift the leg. So we lift left and down, and right and down. It's left and down. Funny, there's like a little delay. Okay, now take your arms by your side, sitting up nice and tall, not hunching. Sit up tall, and we're gonna go opposite arm and leg, and down. Up and down. So you can just go a little bit, or you could go all the way up. So these are kind of, they're like sit-ups in the chair, navel to spine, yep, up and down. It's like you're marching. So rather than leaning back, kind of lean forward. But we're sitting upright. Push the left foot into the floor as you lift the, the right leg. 
Okay. And up. So it's marching in the chair. And now we're going to hold it up and go four and three and two and one. Good. And switch sides. It's four. It's three. If you start to feel a pinch in your lower back, then just do it a little bit less. Four. Lean forward. Crunch in with the abs. And one. And then last one on this side. Four and three and two and one. Good job. And then we'll just lean back in our chair and kind of counterbalance that back. So just leaning back, arms are dangling, chest, sternum lifting. So if, if you, if it's sideways, I'm just, now if you're gonna have a high back chair, it might not be as easy as if you have a big dining room chair, which I don't advise. It's not, but you 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 see the chair is is uh, lifting your sternum. You can use your hand to hold your head if you want to, and it's a little rest. If you want to extend one leg out, opening up. This is the heart opener. Open your heart and then switch sides. Yay. If you want, you can extend those arms back, or maybe just one arm. This is like a nice um, stretch for you with the help of the chair. But you decide what feels best for you. Do one arm, maybe both feet. Maybe, maybe elbows back like you're lying in the sun. If that feels good. So I'm giving you options and you can experiment, right? It's not a one size fits all. Which we're, we're kind of led to believe in exercise. It's a one size fits all. We have lots of options. Options. Okay. So if you need water, take some water and then we're going to move on a little more to some more legs and stretch. So let's take that right leg out and in. We're sitting up nice and tall, right out and in. So if you can lift your leg up off of the ground and I'll push and pull. So I'm going to resist like I'm opening a door with my leg, right? Out and in. Now let's do the arms. Eight and seven and six. Again, navel the spine. Really squeeze it in, protect that lower back and work your abdominal muscles. Four and three and two, we're working that inner thigh as well and one. Okay, abductor, abductor. So we lean forward, extend that right leg forward, nice and gingerly because we are sitting in the chair. If you want to bring your arms forward and stretching the calf, the hamstring, the back, the shoulders, the neck. Stand those arms if you like. And then bring your one hand to your, your right um, hand to your right leg, your left hand to your left leg, and gently roll it up. And sit up nice and tall. Great. So we're good now. Same thing. You're sitting up nice and tall, and we'll take the left leg out. So the difficulty is cranked up a bit with my. This is my right leg, your left, because I'm not as strong on my right side. So I have to super focus on that, and then we're going to bring it. Now you can just have your foot on the floor or you can lift it up to make it a little more challenging. Make sure you sit up nice and tall. We're working our outer thigh, inner thigh. And we'll go for four more. Four and three and two. Good job. And one. And then we'll extend it out. 
nice and easy. Maybe you just go a little bit. Maybe you go further. Maybe you extend those arms. Relax the neck, stretch. And then slowly roll up, bringing the left hand on the left leg, right hand on the right, roll up. All right, now here's a really good stretch. We're gonna sit, uh, take our hands in the chair, take the legs out, maybe not too wide, you decide. Um, if you, this is kind of a seated split. So we're gonna come forward. And you can just use your hands and hold it here. If you want to go further, you feel comfortable, press your feet into the floor nice and firm. And then if you want, you can take your head all the way down. Extend those arms. Draw your hips back. So keep pulling back so not all the weight is coming forward onto the feet. You're not pulling the chair. You want to counterbalance, chest forward, hips back. Take out the head. If you feel dizzy, come up. If you don't say you have low blood pressure, and then we're going to bring the hands up above the knees and then roll it up. Nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Get imaginary wall, stack, 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 and grow. And let's stretch the right arm over. And, other, and then bring it in. And other side, reach and bring it in. And exhale, and in, and exhale, and inhale. Exhale, reach, bring it in, exhale, stretch. And it's four, good. And reaching through the ribs, stretch those ribs. And two, not holding your breath. And then the last one on this side, one. Great job. Okay, bring those legs together. And we're gonna practice sitting up or standing up. Okay. So heels. Heels pressing in the floor. I'm turning sideways so that you can see. You don't have to change the chair. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna. So you're sitting into the when you know you know you're sitting and then you're gonna get up. This is we're practicing that. So we're gonna push our heels and the balls of the feet into the floor, and then lift the chest, stomach in, and come up just a tiny bit. Well, that wasn't a tiny bit, but I come up. And take it down. And you can have your hands here. Come up, hold, and take it down. Squeeze the tush, make those upper legs really strong, and take it down. Good. Push the feet into the floor, hold, and take it down nice and easy. If you want, you can add your arms. So we do a seated. This is the chair pose in yoga. And take it down. So otherwise, you can have your hands on your hips and take it down. And this time we're gonna go all the way up, if you want, if you want, and squeeze the push. Then go back like a chair pose, keep pulling your hips back. So we're off the knees, and we're using our powerhouse hip size glute pelvis. So we take it back, chair pose, and all the way back. If you wanna use your arms, depending on your strength. If you plop down, let's go a little bit slower and keep practicing. And then we got the last one. I gotta use my abdominal muscle. Great. And then let's go ahead and have a seat. And now we're gonna lean back and take your right leg or whichever leg you want. You only have two, right? Let's be check, not three. Bring that leg and squeeze it in. You can hold from back here or here, right? And squeeze it for a nice and lean back into my chair 
and then curl in round your back. Lean back and then hold on to the back of the leg, interlacing the fingers. And we're going to extend it out and bend. So point it and flex it. Point it up, flex it out. Good. I'm leaning back. I'm using my chair. So if you get a little more stretch, hamstring, the back of the knee, half ankle. Now, if you want, hold it up. Walk your hands up your leg. Give it a little more stretch. You decide, you know, but you want to get this stretch in here. That gets really tight, doesn't it? Dang it. Why are you getting all tight? Good. And then let's take it out to the side. So I'm just holding my shin and opening my knee to the side. And then sit up. And can you just circle that leg? Circle. So we do slow, kind of slow, deliberate things. Not a lot of caustic, crazy, fast. And by the end, we're all stretched out, limber, relaxed, stronger, better, faster. And I reverse that stretch. Okay, good. So one more time. Remember, we, we did this earlier. I'm just going to stretch forward. Hips are back. Get a little more stretch in that hamstring. Ta -ta -da! And roll it up. Okay, then we're gonna do the other leg. We got one more leg. Squeeze it in to stretch. This is good for your knee as well. And then interlace behind your leg and extend and bend. So point it up, flex it down. Point and flex. Stomach in, shoulders relax. Point and flex. Let's go for four and three. Good job. Two and one. Hold it up. You can kind of scooch a little more forward if you want to, to crawl your hands up your legs. This is my weaker side, so I gotta pay extra attention to it. Mm -hmm. We're stretching out that hamstring, the back of the knee, the calf, the ankle. I can even circle. Squeeze it in. And then let's take it out to the side. It's kind of like, ah. The knees out to the side, opening that inner thigh, a little release for the spine. Then sitting up and we'll circle. Circling it out and in and out and in. I'm sitting forward in the chair now so that I can move my leg. It's just my bottom that's on the chair. And the leg can move and then we'll reverse that circle for eight. Seven, six. This one's not so easy. So go nice and slow. Careful not to over to arch your back. Two and one. And then we'll stretch it out again. Maybe your back, your shoulders, your neck, your arms, your legs, your hips, uh, your thighs, your feet, hands. Still a little bit looser than when we started. Maybe. I think probably, but you know, only you know for sure. Then bring you back in and inhale up and in. Okay, and take some water and then we'll go ahead and stand up. If you want, you can stay seated if you'd like as well. All right. So we'll do some balancing now. So I'm going to be on the side of my chair. Um, let's see. 
So I'm directly, uh, I got my right hand on the outside of the, the chair and make sure there's nothing around you. Like I said, I'm gonna stand firmly with my right leg, pull my right knee cap up. It has a slight bend in the right knee, firm through the, the thigh and squeeze the tush. And I'm not too close, so I'm not too far. My strongest thing is my leg. So this is my balance. And then this is this is uh, the outside leg is light as a feather. Well, it's not light, but you know, we're, we're really strengthening, counting on our standing leg to be strong as we bring this in and down. So we take it squeeze and down and squeeze it. And I'm using my chair just for balance, right? To just to gently hold. And I can even try it without it. And I'm squeezing and holding and squeeze and tap. And it's squeeze and tap. And I really squeeze the right sushi, the leg that comes up. It's the standing leg that's the strongest. And let's go for four. We did this in the chair and three. Good job. And two and one. And then we're going to step to the side of the chair. So I just step out and then stretch it over. Push those hips out to the side. And you can even extend your arm in that chair and really push, push, push out. And if you want, let go of that bottom arm like you're holding up a beach ball. Dumb again. Or you can continue holding onto the chair. You can bring the arm down. You decide the level that you want. And then we're going to pivot towards the chair. So both feet are press, are um, facing the chair. Step back, and then we just add a little lunge too. So I'm using my chair. So I pivot towards the chair. And bend that front knee right in the back. Then bring the outer arm up. And if you want, you could try to do a little lunge here, both arms up. So this would be a lunge, a warrior, not a warrior, but a, a high lunge in yoga. And bring it down. Now, your hand on your hip, step forward, back foot forward to the front. Good job. And then we'll go to the other side. Standing up nice and tall. And not too close to the chair, but you're right in line with it. Firm your standing leg. With the ball of your foot, the heel is firmly pressed into the floor. And then the knee is slightly bent and the leg is firm. We're going to bring the right leg up. And bring it up and down. It's up. And down, it squeeze it up. So you have your chair facing forward, right? Okay. So you bring it up and down. There you go, nice and tall. Make your standing leg stronger and let's add that arm. Eight and seven, really squeeze the tush, the inner leg. And we got four more. It's four and three. Good job. It's two and one and hold. And then step to the side. Push those hips out. Don't walk out your knees. Bring that right arm over to your own degree. Stretch. Extend your bottom arm if you want. If you want, lift it up like you're holding a beach ball. So you got both arms out to the side. Breathing. And bring that, the arms up. And from right here, we're just going to pitch forward with the chest. Bend those knees if you want to hang over. Hang over, you can. We're at the no hamstring. And chin into the chest. Take round back. Roll it up. Rag doll. Then bring the legs in, and we're just to the side of our chair. Feet a little, you know, fairly wide, wider than your hips, and we're just going to circle the pelvis like you're 
Rolling your hips around the, in the inside of a bowl. It's a big bowl. So roll those hips. You know how to do those pelvic circles, right? Pelvic circles. Loosening the pelvis and then let's take it to the other side. So just isolating the pelvis here. So hip forward to the side, to the back. I'm exaggerating it. And then you can try small ones, hula hula, hula hula here. And take it to the other side. Go the other way. And then let's go. Right hip, left hip, right hip, left hip. Right left, right, and I'm bending my knees. I go right and left and right. See if you can pick it up, right, left, and then see if you can add a little walk, 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 walk. Yep, so I just got this hips going. You know, you're walking, you're moving your hips. Shake your booty, shake, shake, shake. Yep. All right, and then we bring the arms up and down. And inhale up and down. Two more times, inhale up and down. Good job, inhale up and down. Shake it out. If you wanna hold on to your chair, you can, right? Shake it out and shake it all out. What if you just go, woo, what would happen? Woo, no, 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 okay, good job, good job. <laughs> We're gonna shake it, shake it. All right, let's go ahead and take some water. We'll get our weight. We'll do some standing with the weight. And then sitting. But if you wanna sit, you can. Make sure your chair is out of your way. So make sure the chair is out of the way because we are gonna be stepping with the weight. And then we'll bring it back in. Good job, everybody. Woo, having fun yet? All right, this is fun fitness. Ah, okay. Now, um, we're gonna take the hands on the hip. We're gonna step right together. Step left together. Step right, I have my hands on my hips. I'm not just dangling the weights, right? So hands on the hips for balance. Step left together. Step right bend together. It's left together. So step right, you bend it and you bring it together. Step left together. That's it. So we do a little squat and up. Now the squat is optional. If you just want to do the standing, just if you just want to step together, you can do that. Step bend together. We step and bend together. We're strengthening our legs. Make sure you get into those heels, just not on the toes only. The balls of the feet. Okay, so now we're going to bring it up, down, and up. So adding the arms in and up. Extend the arms and squeeze it up. Good job. Hold it. Don't let those arms swap. Make a bicep curl. Shh. Up. Let me do the side leg. So down, up. Is that what I did? Up. Yeah. Down and squeeze it. It's down and squeeze. We have four. It's three. It's two. It's one. Great job. And then we'll march it out. March, march. Holding those weights and marching it out. You can bring your arms up to waist level. If not, that's okay. All right, we're here, stepping out, and we're gonna just press and in, and reach out and in. So reach out and in, extend in, extend and in. Now bring your weight to your chest and go out, hold it in. Punch it and pull, punch, pull, 
punch and pull. Da 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 in eight, seven. Use your waist, six, and then five. What's after that? It's four. Bend those knees. It's three. It's two. It's one. Good job. Have some water. Take a break if you need it. We're just rolling. I'm just going to bring those wrists in and out. Thumbs in and out. Thumbs in, thumbs out. So working those forearms and the wrists. Wrists up and down. Wrists up and down. Bend the wrists up and down. I'm just bending the wrists. It's not a bicep curl. Bend the wrist up and down. So curl the wrist and down. That's it. You got it. Okay. Right leg forward, left leg back. Pull that uh, left shoulder back. Come forward with your weight. And we're going to go up really close to the body. And I'm only turning sideways, but you, you don't have to so that you can see what I'm doing. So I go up, extend the lower arm, and we're working the tricep. Bend it and down. So lift that elbow, keep the elbow where it is, engage the tricep, bring it in and down. You got it? So we go up, straighten the arm, bend the elbow, bring it down. Let's do eight of these. So we go up, extend, bend, and down. Pull up the elbow, straighten the arm, bend the elbow, bring it down. Look forward so it doesn't hurt your neck, you know, so you're not straining it. In and down. We have four more. So we go up, straighten the arm, bend it, and down. Up, straighten, keep that uh, weight close to your body. Two more, straighten. Bend, take it down, pull it up high, straighten it, bend and down. Now we're just gonna hold it up and lift, lift. A tiny micro lift. So take it up as high as you can and we'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now we take this arm across. So I'm just gonna take it across my body. Bring the other arm underneath to stretch the shoulder. Uh, so I got the, the arm that I was working across and the other arm underneath it to stretch that shoulder. Okay, so now right foot forward, left foot back, and you can keep your left hand on your hip. We pitch forward, pull the right hip back. Yep. And we go elbow up high, straighten, bend it, bring it down. Elbow up high, straighten that lower arm. You want to just kind of like a crank. It's up, it's straightened, it's bend, it's down. So we're working the shoulder head. We're working that scapula, the chest, and just to more specifically, the tricep. And okay. So let's go for up, extend, bring it in and down. Let's go for four more. Four. And you can really feel that tricep when you straighten the arm. Well, you, is that the objective? Two more. Relax that neck. Try not to grip in the neck. I know it's not easy. And now we'll hold it up, okay? So we're going to go up, pinky up. Palm in, eight, seven, just a little lift. It's four, it's three, it's two, it's one. Good, bring that working arm across the body. That's the one we were just doing, just to stretch the back. If you want, put the other arm in front, underneath, from under, like that. That's a nice stretch for the shoulder. Okay, so now, to your own degree, I'm only turning sideways, but you can stay forward, okay? So I'm going to bend the knees, come down to the hips, to the sky, 
to the chest. So it's knees or thighs or maybe just a little bit. You can even go to the floor. So we go down, hip, up, and chest. So forward, pull it up, take it up, and chest. There you go. Bend those knees. Up and chest. So pitch forward or fold forward, up to the sky and chest. So down, hip, sky, chest. Down, hip, sky, and chest. So do four more. Down, hip, sky, chest. Forward. If you feel dizzy, stop. Up and chest. Two more. Down. Hip. Extend and chest. One more. Down. Pull it up. Extend and chest. Great. So we're just going to alternate the weight. So stand on the left and then the right. And I got the weight here. And I'm just, then I'm going to add, if you want, to pull up through the weight. A little bit of balance, a little bit of strength, a little bit of endurance. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. So hands on the hips. And we're just going to do a little bit of balancing with the weight and a little more cardio. So my feet about hip width, and I'm gonna step back with the right and step in, okay? You can watch me, step back, step in, step back, step in. It's back, it's in. Right leg, that's it. Right leg. I don't know which leg I'm on. It doesn't matter, right? Okay. Now, would you like to add the weight? So we go the leg that goes back, the opposite arm comes up. You can face me. You don't have to face sideways. So doing a lunge with a bicep curl. Step back and in. Step back, good job, and in. Step back. And in, you don't have to do the weights. You can just hold them. You can get rid of them if you want to. Step back and in, step back. Good job. How about one more on each side? Good job. Roll those shoulders and thumbs up. Bring those arms up. Hold it. Take the thumbs down and slowly lower. Thumbs up. If I have my hands by my waist, I can, yeah, take the, and thumbs down. There we go. Okay, we're gonna put the weights down. Bring the chair back in. Have some water if you need it. Okay, we're gonna do a little down dog with the chair, so I have the back end of the chair, and I'm gonna step back, and, and my feet are fairly wide, and you could go, you could just go a little bit, if you wanna watch me, or you could keep walking further back, and stretch the shoulders and the back and the arms, Round your back, flatten it, round it, flatten it, round, flatten. One more time, good round back and flatten. And then inhale to come up, walk the feet in. Push your hips towards your chair. You walk in to come to standing. And then arms come up. And exhale, take it down. 
Excellent, everybody. So we'll go ahead and have a seat, take some water. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we'll close our eyes and rest just for a minute. We got our stretches in all throughout and bring those arms up and take it out. And one more time, inhale, come up and exhale. And chin to the chest, round your back, inhale to come up. And then if you want, sit all the way back or take a cushion and have uh, behind your back, you could, I like to put my heels on the legs of the chair to give me a little more support in my lower back. And go ahead and rest your hands on your legs and close your eyes, bringing all your awareness to your breath. Breathing in and exhaling. You can breathe in the nose and out the nose. Letting everything go so that all the energy, the, the stimulation, the vibrancy, all that is, is all coming together and then softening into a nice, warm, soothing feeling, allowing the body to relax and quiet and soften. Relax your jaw, relax your brow, relax your tongue. Lengthening through the spine, softening the belly, the hips, the legs, letting everything go. Staying nice and relaxed, slowly start to bring your awareness back to your breath. And whenever you feel like it, start to sit up a little taller, maybe scooch forward in your chair. On your next inhalation, bring your arms above your head, open the eyes to look up, and then exhale, look forward with a big smile, release it out and bring your hands to your heart. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining.